Now, if you want to pair your free Gmail inbox to Linkio Outreach, uh, it just takes a, a couple seconds to pair it. Um, but while we're getting our Gmail OAuth verified, we have to do it through the custom inboxes. So go to settings, click add inbox, go to add custom inbox. You're going to have a few fields here, but there's a couple things I want you to do before even jumping into that step. So I've done this right off here, right up here. There's a couple of steps. You can turn off two-step verification, allow access to less secure apps, and then go ahead with the setup. And then if there's a couple of troubleshooting issues, I'll show you how to go about those. So for step number one, uh, usually this is turned off by default. So in case you enabled it, uh, this would be a time to temporarily disable it. So make sure you're on the right email account. And then under two-step verification, under the signing into Google tab, make sure this is set to off. As a next step, we're going to allow access to less secure apps. Uh, you can do that through this URL here. It's probably going to ask you to sign in again. It's totally fine. Go ahead. Uh, by default, it's in an off state. So you just need to put it into the on state and then that's all set. From there, you're able to jump back into the Linkio app. And to save time, I already preset this up. I entered the SMTP, the port, username, password, and the names up here as well. Uh, and then I saved it. Right now it's set as deliverability, not verified. So let's try to test deliverability. Uh, we got to fail to verify deliverability, cannot send email. Uh, one of the reasons for this is because we got a security alert. So one way to check that is if you go to your Gmail inbox, it will send you that email that you can you need to check your activity. Uh, if you didn't get that email, another way to do this, here's the message that we just talked about. You click on this link under check if Google is blocking access. You see this? It's a suspicious attempt to sign in with your password. I already marked this as recognized. Um, I'll mark it again here as recognized. And you could retest deliverability again. But if you're still getting an error like this one, uh, go to the next link in the user doc, this one. Try to test the bit again. If the same error message shows up, open this allow access link, click the continue button, and try to verify one more time. And if that doesn't work, and if you continue getting the error, uh, chances are it's because you opened this URL uh, in a window that has several Gmail accounts signed into it. So Google didn't really get the trigger that you were allowing access for this specific account. It thought maybe you were doing it for some other account. So the way around this is open an incognito window. You can log into Gmail from there and just log into the account uh, that you're trying to sign into. So I'm trying to sign into this Time Chamber account. That's the one I opened in incognito. Notice there's no other account signed into it, right? Uh, open a new incognito tab, go back to that URL, click continue one more time. Now go back to the original rejections and try one more time. This time we actually got a successfully verified inbox deliverability message. Uh, so now this, this inbox is officially good to go. Okay, so questions, do let me know.